Hey guys, Alec here from Trackstar CC. I'm going to give you guys a quick little tutorial on how to disassemble, assemble, and adjust your slipper clutch. So first, get to a slipper clutch, disassemble it. You need this tool right here. Go ahead and spin this nut off. You don't have to hold down the spur gear to get this off. It can be a little difficult because you see right here, when you twist it, everything wants to spin. So go ahead and hold the spur gear while you do this. Okay, go and finish it off with your fingers. Get this little nut off. Go ahead and get the spring off right here. Now from here, the spur gear comes right off. Right here, you can take this part off, put it slips on. Then this comes off. Now be careful, here. there's a steel pin inside here. You can go ahead and get that out. You can use your needle nose pliers for that. Okay, this little pin that you'll find in the front and rear hook carriers. Okay, now from there you can see it's going to spin. Now, when you're assembling your slipper clutch, this is like you just burn out your slipper clutch, you burn out part of your pads in here. Whatever reason you're doing this, you can go ahead and put the steel pin inside the two holes. Okay, once you've gotten this pin in, you see right here, there's little indentions. That's where the pin is going to slide in. So you're going to go ahead and try and line that up. Your pin might fall out. You want to be a little careful because when you're moving this, your pin tries to slip out. Also get your needle nose pliers in there and just move it around a little so it's right. Okay. There you go. Now from here, if it's a brand new one, it's not gonna have any of these, but since I'm using a used one, it's got these little things. This is from where it's slipping on the brake on the pads. So I'm just gonna go and put it the same way. Uh, okay. It won't have any of those lines if it's brand new. Go ahead and put your spear gear on. Now, this is already assembled. You can see your bearings in here, the screws are in here, all of these screwed onto here. Go ahead, push that all the way back. Shouldn't push back, it should be fine like that. Put this little spring on, push it all the way back. Go ahead and spin this nut on. Now, now that we're assembling this back on, I like to put my tire on because this likes to move a lot. So I'm going to put my tire back on real quick and go ahead and spin that nut all the way in as tight as I possibly can. Don't want to overdo it, you know, just get it really tight. Okay, once you have it a little ways, you can uh, go ahead and take your tire off and go ahead hold your spur gear okay that's as tight as I can do it so that's perfect so from here now that you have it as tight as possible we're gonna go ahead into adjusting it you're gonna wanna turn it halfway out about a half turn I mean and then from there you're gonna wanna go ahead and assemble this all back on just put your, I mean put your gear cover back on and put your wheel back on tighten your wheel on and you're going to want to go ahead and open this little thing this is what I like to do the best open that and you can see the hole you can see where this lines up you can see that so this is for easiness you can just go ahead and while you're driving stick that right in and go ahead and fix that now for my setup this is way too tight and with tightness the tighter this nut is, the more, the faster the wheels are going to spin when you punch that throttle. Now, how I have it like this, it's not really going to slip. You want it to slip or it will break your top axle gear, which is what this is all screwed onto. Um, you want slip. You don't want it to just straight punch it and it's just there and it's popping wheelies and burning out like crazy. You want to make sure it's got some slip. 
Uh, sometimes what I like to do is I like to s spin it a lot out, probably like two turns, to where it's slipping too much that when you give it throttle, it barely goes. And then just tighten it very slightly every time I bring the car back and make sure that it's exactly where I want it and perfect. So that's how I like to do it. And uh, once I have it perfectly set, you can go ahead and obviously this is all on. You can go ahead and pop that cap back in. And then you're good to go. Um, if you ever need to change your, your slip just because maybe it's you realize that it's slipping too much or it's not slipping enough after you've already gotten your perfect setup, just you can go ahead and tighten or loosen it just to make sure, just in case anything happens. So there you go, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a good day, and I'll see you guys soon.